In the course of time, in the last 15 years, how many cataract surgeries do you think you have done? In the last 15 years? Yeah. Oh gosh, I don't know. Thousands. Oh, 20,000. 20, yeah. Know. You know, it's, it's significant, yeah. When? That's, that's why I came down here. I, well, I know. I loved it in my residency, and I was chief resident, and I thought, this is what I really want to do. This is fun. Because it's different every day. I mean, it's different it, every day. Every day I'll do surgery tomorrow, and you know the patients sometimes say, you know, it's kind of like an assembly line. It's like, well, yeah, to you it is, because everybody has to get prepared the same way, and then recover the same way. But every surgery has, has got nuances. Everyone is different, and and the goals of every patient are different. One guy had LASIK. One guy wants near vision. One lady wants a multifocal lens. One's got astigmatism, and so the approach to every case is a little bit different. Somebody, we have some diabetics, we have some people who have had trauma, and the, you know, the age can range from 30 to 100. I operate on ladies 107, you know, so uh, the, the age range, I mean, they're all, every case is different when you sit down for every surgery. It, that's kind of neat. I mean, when you think about it that way, how, how different everybody is and, and you know, the, the heredity of the situation yep. and, huge, and everything. Huge, huge. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's cool when, you, when we think about what we're doing, you know, we're actually inside your eye, working in there, in the fluid, in your eye, under a microscope, removing the lens and, and replacing it, and preserving all the tissues around it so that there's proper support and your eye looks normal. I mean, you don't want to, you know, in the old days you had cataract surgery, you had a big cat eye. You don't want that nowadays. Yeah. That'd be unacceptable. Well, you couldn't so. move. They had sandbags around your head. Oh, there, yeah. You know, yeah. Ten days. So uh, then now it's six minutes. So it's changed a little bit. I, the, the thing that I found not amusing, but, well, it was, but, you know, is, is the eye doctor is about to do the surgery on your eye. He says, you know, I can't even tie my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and, got Velcro, huh? Got Velcro. Right. And I go... That's not exactly what you want to hear when they sit down to do your surgery. Well, all, I couldn't see him. All I right. could see was, because my whole face was, I was getting, I think Sterile. it was 19 yeah. stitches in my eye mm -hmm. for basketball, and I'm looking up, and all, all I see is the bright light, right. and this guy says... You know, I can't even tie my shoes right. Right. And I go, oh, yeah, and then right. I was gone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Having a very bad dream, probably. <laughs> yeah. But with eye surgery, and when people go there to the state of the art surgery, St. Lucie's Outpatient Center. Yes. When you're looking at somebody's eyes, and there have been cases where the 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 lens you put in doesn't work. Very rare, but it does happen. Sure. And the person comes back, and is there a problem going back into the eye that's already been? Slit? I would say if this original surgery was done correctly, then the eye is very amenable to changes. Okay. And I and I would t I tell all my LASIK and previous RK patients, you know, the chances of a lens exchange are significant because the calculations to get the lens power estimate, because we've got to predict ahead of time what lens to put in your eye. Do you need a 12, a 13, a 14.5, a 32.7? You know, we got to measure it and figure it out, just like glasses. The lens implants come in all different powers because everybody's eye is different, so it's customized. There's no 100%, so you're always going to have a, a rate of error in your calculations, so you may have to go back and exchange the lens. But if you go into it uh, with that knowledge or, or yeah. like anticipation and do the surgery a certain way, I can exchange a lens in two to four minutes. Uh, and I know there so have it's very been. very quick and efficient, no stitches, and it's, it's, it's easy. Well, someone that's had LASIK um, and a, or RK surgery, Yes. It's, the cataract surgery is a little bit different, isn't it? It's, the surgery is the same. What's different is the preparation and the calculations. Oh, okay. And so we, we have an international website uh, that we go through, and, and I don't know how we do it, but our results are so much uh, uh, our percentage of success is so much higher than the world average. This is probably the single, single biggest issue today in cataract surgery is how do you calculate your lens implant power for the post-refractive surgery patient, meaning the person with LASIK or RK. And I, I, I would say on average I probably do three to five a week of people who have had previous surgery because these are people that had surgery in the 80s and 90s and now they're in their 70s. You know, they were in their 40s or 30s, 40s, 50s and now 20, 30 years later they're having cataract surgery. So we do a lot of them, you know, and, and man, our numbers are, are spot on. I mean, there's the rare patient I have to go back and exchange the lens. 
So that, that's the big, single biggest issue. How do you measure the eye to figure out the power? Because the cornea has been altered when you've had right. refractive surgery. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. 7.39 right now, 21 in front of the hour of 8 o'clock, coming up at 8 o'clock. It's just you and I, then at 8.30 we've got uh, some folks coming in uh, about the Veterans Memorial Fountain. We'll be talking about that at 8.30. We also got a big birthday call coming up between 8 and 8.30. Your lottery numbers last night, your cash three was 475. The play four, 3561. Fantasy five number last night was 15, 20, 23, 29. And 35, and there were no winners. And Mega Money last night, it rolls over for free.